The problem reads, what is Q, W, delta U, and delta H for a process in which one mole of an ideal monatomic gas with an initial volume of 5 liters and pressure of 2 atmospheres is heated until a volume of 10 liters is reached with pressure unchanged? As always, we start by writing down what we have. We have 1 mole, so N equals 1 mole. We have an ideal monatomic gas versus ideal gas. And then monatomic gives us that CVM is equal to 3R over 2, which more conveniently is equal to 1.5R. We have an initial volume, so V1 is equal to 5 liters, and an initial pressure of 2 atmospheres, so P1 is equal to 2 atmospheres. Then we have our process. And we get V2 equals 10 liters. And P2, pressure is unchanged, so P2 equals 2 atmospheres. And also from this, we also have that, that delta P equals 0. All right. So what do we know? We know that delta U equals Q plus W. So if we can find two of these, we can find the third one. And what do we know about delta U? We know that delta U, with this information here, is N times CVM times delta T, the temperature change. Can we find delta T? And the answer to that question is yes. Why? Because we have V1 and P1 and N equal to 1 mole and an ideal gas, so we can find T1 and V2 and P2, and N equal to 1 mole, and an ideal gas, so we can find T2. So we can find delta T, and so we can calculate delta U. So what else do we know? Since delta P is equal to 0, delta P equal to 0 means that, means that Q equals delta H. So do we have a formula for either one of these? And the answer is we have a similar formula. Delta H equals NCPM delta T. We know delta T, we know N, do we know this? And the answer is yes, because it's an ideal gas. This is CVM plus R, in parentheses, times delta T. So we can find delta U with this formula. We can find delta H with this formula. Q is equal to delta H, and then W is equal to delta U minus Q. So we have everything we need. We start by finding T1 and T2 so we can calculate delta T. T1 equals P1 V1 over NR equal to P1 is 2 atmospheres, V1 is 5 liters divided by, we have 1 mole and we have 8 0.3145 joules per mole Kelvin. So in order to cancel this joules, we'll need to make this into pascals and meters cubed. So equals two atmospheres. To change atmospheres to pascals, we have 101.325 pascals per atmosphere. And to change liters, 10 to the minus 3 meters cubed divided by our moles have already canceled, and we're left with 8.3145 joules per Kelvin. The joules will cancel, with, and we're ready for Kelvin. Get our calculator. So we have 2 times 101.325 times 5 EE minus 3. And then we're just dividing by a single number, so divided by 8. 0.3145 and we get 121.9 Kelvin. 121.9 Kelvin. Now we have T2 is equal to P2 V2 over NR. What part of this is going to change? Let's see. This is two atmospheres. This is 10 liters divided by. We still have one mole and R is 
still 8.3145 joules per mole Kelvin. What's the difference between these two? This is the same, this is twice as big, this is the same, this is the same, so all we need to do is multiply this by two, so we have two times 121.9 Kelvin. Calculator, that's what we have here, times two. 243.7, 243.7 Kelvin. And so this implies that delta T is equal to this minus this, but since this was just twice this, we just have 121.9 Kelvin. So this is delta T. Now we're ready to do delta U and delta H. So delta U is equal to N, which is one mole, times CVM, which is 1.5 R. That's in joules for small Kelvin. And then we have Kelvin 121. Then we have 121.9 Kelvin for delta T. So this is joules for small Kelvin. Moles and Kelvin cancel. We're left with joules as we should be. Let's multiply. So we have 1 times 1.5 times 8.3145 times 121.9. And we get 1520.3. 1520.3 joules. And then we have delta H is 1 mole. times 1.5 R plus R times 121.9 K. This is 2.5 R. So we have 1 times 2.5 times R, 0.3145 times 121.9 equals 2,533.8, 2,533.8 joules. And from these, we can get Q equals delta H equals 2,533.8 joules. And W equals delta U minus Q equals, calculator, 1,520.3 minus our answer, enter, minus 1,013.5, minus 1,013.5, and that is also joules. So let's write our answers all together. We have delta U equals 1520.3 joules delta h equal to q equals 2533.8 joules and w equals minus 1013.5 joules and these are the answers to our problem